What's up, everybody? Welcome to America Patriot News. Today, we have an article for you guys, and it's about Julia Assange, WikiLeaks founder, who is uh, in the UK, and the United States is trying to extradite him into the United States. They have been denied, again, for right now, for extradition, because uh, the UK has wants the United States to agree to certain parameters when it comes to uh, the trial that's going to go against uh, Julia Assange. And potential punishments. UK court delays WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange extradition to the US on espionage charges. A UK court on Tuesday ruled WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange cannot immediately be extradited to the United States on espionage, espionage charges. The UK court specifically requested that officials in the US make sure Assange be quote, permitted to rely on the First Amendment to the United States Constitution, which protects free speech, that he is not prejudiced at trial, including sentenced by reason of his nationality, and that he's afforded the same First Amendment protections as United States, any United States citizen, and that the death penalty is not imposed. The court also made clear that if the U.S. did not agree to those conditions in three weeks, Assange could file a new appeal with for further hearings. There will be a hearing on May 20th to determine if the assurances were met. The U.S. charged Assange in 2010 after WikiLeaks published thousands of secret government documents and has been fighting extradition for more than a decade much of that time spent living in the Ecuadorian embassy in London. I don't have any problems with the request from the UK. I actually think uh, taking uh, the idea of the death penalty against them when it comes to that, because espionage, that is the ultimate uh, punishment for espionage is death penalty should be taken off. I agree with that. Uh, also him being treated as a journalist as uh, First Amendment would apply to him, I think should actually work as well, especially since WikiLinks is also has an office in uh, the United States and D.C. itself. I think uh, I think he should be awarded that. Yeah, no, you're right on point. I love the fact that the English court is basically saying if the death penalty is on the table at all, we're not giving him to you. If he's not going to be afforded his First Amendment protections, we're not going to give them to you. Um, this odyssey that's going on with Assange is a catastrophe. I mean, they are ruining this guy's life. And all he did was make things public that the government would prefer not be public. Well, you know what? That's not the standard. The standard is that you are free to publish any papers that are given to you. And the people are free to make up their minds about what those documents say or don't say. So, yeah, I, I would prefer if Julian Assange was immediately released and went back to doing what he's best at because it seems like people trust him because he keeps his mouth shut and he releases documents without tampering with them. So. Uh, obviously, we know why he's in trouble with governments around the world, and it's complete and utter horseshit. Yeah, and uh, I think this is also the ultimate warning they want to put out. You go against the U.S. military industrial complex. If you go after a Democrat presidential uh, candidate, this is what happens to you. We yep. ruin your life. It's kind of like what they're doing to Trump. It's kind of like what they're doing to uh, the J6ers. You have went beyond what we're allowed you to do. And damn, damn the Constitution, damn free speech. We're going to destroy your life. And that's what I think this is about. Exactly. And if you do do the same thing, well, they look at it like this. We've found the man. Now we just need to find the crime. And they will find a crime. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit that like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. And if you would, please turn the notifications bell on just so you know when we make new content. We're live tomorrow morning at 930. Have a wonderful rest of your day.